All right, guys, today we're going to be reviewing this Edo Story N Boost 1500 portable power station. Um, capacity is around 1,408 watt hours and a 3,000 watt surge capacity. So this can power up uh, pretty big appliances with no problem. Um, all right, well, up front. Uh, we've got a digital panel. It gives you all your information you need to know, your watts, your capacity, etc., etc. To the left, we have your uh, AC charge plug, which will just plug into your regular socket wall outlet. Under that, we've got a 12 volt uh, input, which will plug into your cigarette lighter in your car or your van or whatever you're driving. And you also have your solar input. So that would connect to your uh, solar panels if you have any of those. Under that, we've got the 12 volt RV plug and we have the 12 volt uh, barrel type connectors. Up here we have your, you have two USB-C outputs. Under that, you have just your regular USB outputs. And it also does have capability for one USB 2 outlet, which charges a little faster, gives you a little more amperage, um, wattage, I should say. To the right of that, you have your regular AC uh, 120 volt plugs. And uh, up here, you have uh, capability to plug in a jump start cable. And to the right of that, you have. Um, Seems like a plug for an additional battery source. An external battery source, I should say. All right, so mainly I got this uh, to power a 12 volt compressor type fridge. Uh, I wanna really put it up to the test and see how long it'll run the fridge for before it needing uh, a recharge. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this down. It's at 16% capacity right now. I'm gonna run it down all the way down to zero. We're gonna charge it back up to 100 and we're gonna begin the test. I wanna see how long you can run this fridge before this battery dies. All right, so stay tuned and uh, yeah. All right, as you can see, we got the battery down pretty low, 0%. So now what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to take the AC plug, plug it in. We're going to see how long it takes to actually get this charged fully. And uh, also see how many watts we're going to be pulling in. All right, so now we're going to plug it in. down all right we got it plugged in we are using the onboard generator heard the fan kick on pulling in 986 1470 1547 It's uh, holding steady at 1547. So I started the timer. We're going to see how long this takes. All right, now we got it to 100%. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug in our cigarette lighter from our refrigerator. I got this adapter here, turns it into this barrel type connector, plug it right in, turn the unit on, make sure it's on. Okay, that means it's on. All right, in a few minutes, this thing should start uh, cooling down 
I'm gonna go ahead and start the timer now. All right, guys, so just checking in with you guys. Um, we're coming up to uh, about 67%, and uh, we're coming up to about 48 hours, which is two days. Um, two days later, I still got 67% left. Uh, unit is doing pretty good. Uh, as you can probably see there, I got it set to 27. And that green light on top means that it's in eco mode. So it's in eco mode, which uh, I guess uh, starts the compressor, runs the compressor a little bit slower than it normally does on regular mode. And uh, helps conserve a little bit of battery. So I got the, the fridge set to 27. Nice and cold. Everything's doing pretty good. All right, so I just wanted to check in with you guys, do an update. See, it stopped cycle, cycling. It's at zero watts. So once it reaches its its desired temperature, it, the unit just basically shuts down, puts it in like idle mode. That's why these units are so efficient. All right, so I just wanted to give you a quick update. We're at uh, almost 48 hours, and we still got 67% on the battery. See you guys in a little bit. You can see what it's doing to the soda. Probably could lower it down a little bit. But it's doing a great job keeping everything nice and cold. All right. We're coming up to about three days, almost three days. We've got about 43% left. Fridge is still kicking. Just wanted to update you guys. 43% left. We got about three days in. Um, I don't see why it shouldn't do another day at least. All right, guys. So here we are. Uh, about a little bit more than four days. Uh, machines at 2%. Still running pretty good. Still extremely cold. It's doing very well. Um, I'd consider this uh, down to zero. The unit ran for about four days and a half. Um, so I'm very happy with it. Um, I want to note that I did charge a couple of things. I did charge an iPad and I did charge a cell phone a couple of times. So, you know, give or take, you know, with maybe best uh, performance, maybe we could squeeze about five days out of this unit. But there you go, guys. I just wanted to let you know what to expect. Again, this is a 1,408 amp hour battery. And this is a 12 volt compressor style fridge. This fridge is a AJ30 made by Set Power. All right, guys. So I, could, I, you know, I hope this video helps you out um, on what to choose. That'll give you a roundabout idea on what battery size you should get for your particular application. Um, five days is more than enough for me. Uh, it'll, you know, keep whatever cold, whatever food I keep in the fridge, it'll keep it cold for, uh, you know, about five days, which is probably longer than what I'm going to be away from the truck. So when I get to the truck, I'll just hook it in, charge it up with the generator and, uh, should be good for another five days. All right, guys. But I hope this video helps you guys out there. Um, see you on the next video.